How's it hanging YouTube? Peter here, your Ginger Jordy Geek. Welcome back to Triple G Comics. Got an unboxing for you today with the usual stuff that I've picked up from eBay or Facebook. Before we start with that, just to let you know, we have got a 500 subscriber giveaway going on. So if you like my content, please make sure you subscribe, comment on the videos. And when we hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to give away this punchline set, first appearances, first copy, first prints, first appearances. So please, please um, subscribe and like that to that. So before we begin, just to let you know, um, I picked these books up recently on a trip to London, um, recommended by um, Scott on Scott's Shelf, link up above. Um, and this is a series that I'd, not, I'd heard him talk about a lot, but I've not heard a great deal of, and it's called Once and Future. If you like your Arthurian kind of legends and things like that, really worth picking up. I thoroughly enjoyed them, so much so that I picked up the first three volumes and read them all on the train um, over a couple of hours. Absolutely cracking story, a little bit bonkers. Um, King Arthur is basically a massive racist, which is interesting, um, but just a really, really good story. Um, so much so that I've picked up copies of the first issues uh, to take a thought bubble to get signed. So excellent story, really worth reading. Recommend you pick them up and have a bit of a, a read of them. Um, okay, so let's just crick, cack, crick, cack, can't even speak. Let's kick straight off. We've got a box which I haven't opened yet, which is unusual for me. I normally try and take the tape and stuff off them. We have got. Oh, right, from Reed Comics. Um, a bit of a spec book um, suggested by Peter on the Facebook channels. Um, and this is Symboid Spider Man Alien Reality. Reason this is spec is that people are thinking that within the um, the new Spider-Man film there's going to be some mashup of Doctor Strange and Spider-Man because of some of the costumes he wore, and this book may be a bit of a spec book. Um, I just like the cover; I thought it looked quite interesting, so I'll be reading that one. See what that's all about. Next, we have got. Oh, I love it! I love it. So this is a swap I did with somebody on Facebook. Um, <laughs> I can't even remember what I swapped them now. First appearance of Beast Boy, I think, in a bit of, in a bit rough condition. So, um, so yeah, it, so the Beast Boy was a book that I picked up a long time ago. wasn't particularly interested in, so um, I was selling it. And this guy contacted us and said, "Have you got any interest in a trade?" Uh, and this jumped out straight away, and I, <laughs> I don't know why. So this is the first appearance of Dark Hawk in Marvel Age. Um, technically his first appearance. I know people take the mick, and I know people um, you know, think Dark Hawk is a bit of a joke and all the rest of it. I just love the character. I, I, he's one of those comics that I picked up when I was reading in my heyday um, and just loved. So this is um, his first appearance five page preview of Dark Hawk. Um, the book's not in amazing condition, but it's it's not bad, it's good enough. Um, I'll probably go over it with my, my rubber and try and clean it up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get it graded or not, but it is a nice, it'll go with my, my two copies of Dark Hawk one. So very nice book, I like that, I like it a lot. So thank you very much for the trade. Okie dokie, next what have we got? We've got back and boards, more back and boards, more back and empty back and boards. I've got loads of tons, I haven't bought any back and boards. Um, oh, there's the comic. So this has been, <coughs> this has been posted and packaged in between about I don't know what 10 15 back and boards on top of it which is interesting now I'm here I can't speak I, I'm hesitating because I've bought this and I'm desperately trying to remember why I've bought it um, it's amazing spider-man 37 it is a pence copy Not really a big Spider-Man collector. Is this the first appearance of Norman Osborn? I've got a feeling I've bought this because it's the first appearance of Norman Osborn. That's certainly not Norman Osborn on the front there. It's a weird cover. Um, uh, yeah, I've got a feeling it's the first appearance of Norman Osborn, which is why I would buy it. 
Um, it's in rough condition, it's a very old book. I didn't pay a great deal for it, um, but another key first appearance, particularly if Spider-Man's coming to the MCU. Um, yeah, first appearance potentially, maybe, of Norman Osborn. Um, graphic novel collection. You know I collect these. I'll not bore you with them, but this should be the Marvel lot, I think. Um, okay. I, I, I do collect these because I cannot bear not finishing the cover art, the spine art, I mean. Um, but sometimes they throw books in there that I've never heard of or I've never read. So it's always good for me to be able to catch up with stuff I don't know about. So X-Men Gold, Death Till Death Do Us Part. Not not read that. I'm presuming that's um, Colossus and Shadowcat getting married. So I'll have a read of that one. And You Are Deadpool. Not a clue. Not a clue. Um, never heard of it. I'll have a read of that one. Nearly finished, guys. So, next package. <laughs> Another spec book. Um, this is Amazing Spider-Man 545. The fifth store cover. Um, one more day. I think when the Spider-Man trailer came out, everybody went a bit crazy for this because they think, or we we kind of collectively think that um, that's what the movie's going to be based on, which is obviously the the classic. I'm saying classic. It was crap. The the storyline where Mephisto makes a deal with Spider-Man um, to save Aunt May, but makes everybody forget who Spider-Man is. Um, very controversial story back in the day. This book, not very expensive, and then all of a sudden has started to rise in value. Um, I picked it up when the trailer came out. Uh, I actually quite like the cover. The fifth is looking pretty cool on there. Um, we'll see what happens with it. Again, just a, a bit of a spec pickup, really. Last package. And it's in a bit of an interesting packet. Let's see what we've got. I haven't planned this, on honestly. Um, so I've literally just been talking to you about Once and Future. Um, uh, and I've picked up Once and Future issue one, Glow in the Dark cover, signed by someone. It doesn't say who it's signed by, it just says it's signed. Oh, my life. Someone tell us who that signature is, will you? Yeah. Um, lovely book, really, really nice story. Um, I like the idea of a glow in the dark cover. Um, I wish I knew it was signed by because I tell you why. Because I know the writer, um, is it Kieran Gillian? Kieran Gillian, yeah, Kieran Gillian is going to be at Thought Bubble. So if that's not his signature, I'll get him to sign it. If it is his signature, I'll obviously not bother. But um, beautiful cover, beautiful book. Really pleased with that one. Um, like I say, can't recommend that series enough. I absolutely love it. That's your whack. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you, you liked the um, the books I've picked up. Let us know in the comments below which one is your favourite. Um, don't forget, each month we're giving away 23 comic books as well. So like and subscribe to the vids. Um, and make a comment on them to be entered into that competition. Okay, thanks very much for watching everybody. Take care, catch you next time.